بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم ٹو پی ایم ڈی سی آن لائن لیکچر روم السلام علیکم دس از سوبیا روج ایسوسیٹ پروفیسر آف کیمسٹری پشاور ماڈل ڈگری کالج آئل بی ڈسکسنگ کیٹلیٹک پراپرٹیز آف ٹرانزیشن ایلیمنٹس دا ٹاپک از پریزنٹ ان ٹیکسٹ بک آف کیمسٹری فار گریٹ ٹویلو چیپٹر فورٹین ڈی این ایف بلاک ایلیمنٹس It is an important topic. Questions from this topic are included in previous BICEP papers. Year 2014 BICEP paper has the question explain the characteristic properties of transition elements. The first characteristic of transition elements is the catalytic property of transition elements. In this regard, first we will define catalyst then location of transition elements in the periodic table and finally reasons for the catalytic behavior of transition elements so let's begin with the definition of catalyst catalyst is a substance which speeds up a chemical reaction but itself remains chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction students have you ever noticed substances in your surroundings which are speeding up many processes for us well there are many for example catalytic converter in our cars it converts the harmful emissions of the engine into less toxic ones like water and carbon dioxide and for this purpose it uses catalyst the catalyst it uses are rhodium platinum and palladium another example is in making of plastics which uses titanium tetrachloride as catalyst the catalyst of these two examples are platinum palladium rhodium and titanium tetrachloride and these are all transition elements transition elements are metals located between s and p block of the periodic table if you look at this periodic table right in the middle over here are the transition elements between the s block and the p block they constitute the d block of the elements and are called transition metals now we are able to define transition metals definition the elements which have partially filled d orbitals are called transition elements they are all metals and they are in the middle of the periodic table right in between s and p block transition elements and their compounds act as catalyst in both organic and inorganic reactions now let's see how transition metals behave as catalysts the reason for the catalytic behavior of transition elements is use of d orbitals transition elements have vacant d orbitals If we look at the electronic configuration of transition elements let's say manganese in the valence shell they have paired electrons in the 4s orbital these 4s orbitals have two electrons in each of them but if we look at the d orbitals the d orbitals have just one unpaired electron an orbital can have maximum of two electrons an orbital can have maximum of two electrons but the d orbitals of transition elements have just one electron in order to get these unpaired electrons paired up they interact with the reactants 
and in this way activate the reactants and speed up the chemical reactions. Now let's see the second reason. The second reason for the catalytic behavior of transition elements is formation of interstitial compounds. Transition metals form interstitial compounds which activate the reactants and thus they, the reaction occurs fast. Now let's try to understand the interstitial compounds. Interstitial is from an English word interstice meaning small space, a gap or a tiny hole or pores. Transition elements are solid metal. In their crystal lattice, elements are quite closely arranged. Uh, in this diagram, the green balls are representing the metal elements and they are quite compactly arranged. Still, there is a small pore or a small hole or a gap between the metal atoms. Now, smaller atoms, let's say hydrogen or carbon or boron, nitrogen, they occupy this small space. And in this way, they get adsorbed in the metal surface and activate for the reaction. The metals have small pores or gaps between them. These small pores adsorb the smaller elements and thus they activate the reactants for the further reaction. Now let's have a look on the examples of transition elements. The very first example is of iron which is used as catalyst in Haber-Bosch process for the synthesis of ammonia. Next example, vanadium pentaoxide. Vanadium pentaoxide is used as catalyst for converting sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide for synthesis of sulfuric acid by contact process. Next, titanium tetrachloride. It is used as catalyst for the polymerization of ethene into polythene. Next example is of nickel, platinum and palladium which are used for the hydrogenation of unsaturated hydrocarbons to make ghee. Copper. Copper is used for the conversion of ethanol into acetaldehyde. So after these examples, let's have a quick recap of all what we have discussed. Catalyst. It is a substance that changes the rate of a reaction but itself remains chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. Transition elements are the d-block elements which act as catalyst in both organic and inorganic reactions. The ability of transition elements is due to the use of vacant d orbitals and the formation of interstitial compounds. Now students, I hope that you will be cl clear with the catalytic properties of transition elements and by the end of the lesson you have an assignment in the form of these MCQs. So attempt these MCQs and submit it to your respective teachers. Thank you.